What's up guys, I Device Help here, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the most wanted features for Apple's next mobile operating system, iOS 10. iOS 10 is set to make its first debut with Beta 1 on June 13, which is also the rumored date that Apple is set to hold their Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC. Now this day has not been confirmed yet, but this is the stage where Apple usually introduces a new software. So let's talk about some of the new features expected and wanted by most of you guys for the next generation of iOS, iOS 10. First, I want to talk about the multitasker. Why are we still quitting each application one by one when Apple can simply add a one swipe gesture to quit all applications or just a simple button on the left or right of the screen of the multitasker to quit all applications at once. This will help the user experience Apple so hopefully this comes with iOS 10 so we can quit all applications by simply just swiping up or down and all the applications will be eliminated from running in the background. Up next I want to talk about live photos. Now Apple introduced the iPhone SE with the capabilities of shooting live photos and on jailbroken devices we can also take live photos with jailbreak tweaks. We know we don't need a 3D touch display in order to take a live photo on an iPhone that doesn't have 3D touch so why does Apple not add this feature to all devices running iOS 10 I think this is a must as you can see here it is working perfectly fine on this jailbroken iPhone 5 so live photos is one of those I wish comes to all devices with iOS 10 even though I feel it won't happen Another feature that Apple offers on the iPads is Picture Within Picture, which basically allows you to watch a video on your screen while you multitask. As you can see here on this jailbroken iPhone, I can do this. I can watch a video and multitask on my device, and the video will stay overlaid on top of the screen, and just like so. I think the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus can run this rather smoothly, even though I'm using it on a jailbroken iPhone 5, which is also running smoothly, as you can see here. I think Apple should be able to jump to iOS 10 and make this available to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus at least to be able to do this as well as the 6S and 6S Plus. Another feature I think Apple should introduce with iOS 10 is guest mode. This will allow you to let someone use your iPhone without them being able to jump into certain applications. Only the apps that you allow them to go into, they can go into. So if you have someone that asks you to borrow your phone, you can let them use your phone on guest mode and then you can go ahead and lock your device again and bring it back and now you can log in with your passcode and enable all those applications that weren't enabled before. So it allows you to share you know, your device with other people, especially iPads around the house without compromising some of your personal information. Another city of tweak a lot of people ask me about, the ability to set a widget on your lock screen and customize your lock screen. As you can see here with this jailbreak tweak on the top left is the time, the weather on the right, and then I have my calendar down below of things that I'm going to do in the next couple of days. That way I'm constantly updating and knowing what's happening and what's going on. This is very useful as well as some of the context there on the lock screen. Just minor shortcuts can be added and widgets to the lock screen to improve the user experience for iOS. Another one of the most wanted feature is the ability to customize control center with extra toggles, the ability to move toggles anywhere on the control center and also the extensions down here for certain actions like the calculator the photos I mean if you're right-handed you might want the photos on the right but if you're left-handed you might want that on the left so the ability to move these icons around or any of the elements on the control center for that matter is a key feature that will allow iOS users to get more done with a, the control center and the ability to set any toggle that you want on your main toggles list is also a great solution if you add something like low power mode right then and there you don't have to dig in through the settings application to find extensions like these now Apple only offers a small selection of options for the control centers you can see their access with a lock screen access with an application I think Apple can make that particular section of the settings to be able to customize the control center this is the one that you guys probably ask about the most the ability to customize control center and I agree I wish Apple will bring this to iOS 10 with iOS 9.3 Apple expanded the use of touch ID you can use touch ID to unlock your device to lock a note and to also use Apple Pay to pay with Touch ID. But why doesn't Apple add the ability for Touch ID to lock any particular application? So you lock individual applications on your home screen in case you just leave your phone around unlocked by accident. You still have the security of locking each application individually. With iOS and 9.3, Apple added Night Shift, but Night Shift does not allow you to use Night Shift with Invert Color, which is, in my opinion, the next topic, a dark mode. If you wanna go to dark mode or 
Inverted Night Mode, as some people may call it, you have to go here into the Accessibility section and turn on Invert Color, and that gives you sort of a night mode option here for the iPhone, but not completely. It just kind of distorts all the colors, as you can see there. But a night mode option should be an option on the iPhone, so when the sun starts to go down, it kind of fades into a dark mode, sort of like some applications for navigation do. It will be very useful, and Apple did introduce something like that with the brand new iPad Pro, so something like that night mode or dark mode will be a great solution. They do offer it here on OS 10 on the Mac, so I think this should be coming for the iPhone with iOS 10. On the iPhone 6S Plus, you can use a split screen, sort of split screen mode on certain applications, but not true split screen mode. On jailbroken devices, we've been using two apps simultaneously side by side, and that is true split screen mode, in my opinion. This is available on iPads, and I think Apple should definitely bring this, especially on the 6 Plus, given the size of the screen is large enough to do this. So hopefully this comes around for both iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, and in future iPhones as well. People love using live photos on their lock screen but wouldn't it be cool to get those live photos on your home screen? Apple does offer dynamic wallpapers but nobody really uses them anymore. In my opinion it would be really really cool to use live photos on the lock screen as well as on the home screen with iOS 10 especially on newer devices because the power and battery power is there as well in my opinion. And of course, asking for all these features, battery life could be compromised. So battery life is essential. Better battery life power management with iOS 10 is necessary. Apple did a great effort with low power mode, and I hope they increase upon that with the release of iOS 10. Again, WWDC June 13 through the 17, 2016 is the rumored date. We might see the first beta for iOS 10. Of course, I'll be covering that for you guys. Be sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Is there any feature you'd like to see come with iOS 10 for existing devices and beyond? Is there anything I missed out of the list of features that are most wanted by you guys? Anyway, leave a comment down below. Now, before before I let you guys go, at the end of the video here, I'm going to put some outtakes of some of the funny stuff that happened while I film YouTube videos that are just unpredictable. So, hope you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you guys really soon. Okay guys, this was filmed right before I started filming this video. Every time I start filming a video, listen to this, out of nowhere, something makes a loud noise. Watch, just watch. I'm going to start filming right now. What's up guys, iDevice Help here, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the most anticipated and wanted features for iOS 10. <laughs> there you go. That happens all the time. It's either sirens from the police, the ambulance, or anything in between, lawnmowers, leaf blowers, you name it. Every time I start filming, something just goes off and makes really, really loud noises. By the way, there is no fire. The alarms just decided to go off on their own. There's no fire in my house whatsoever. Anyway, peace out.